Now, so far, we've mostly ignored the vector nature of angular momentum. But that would be a mistake in many situations because this vector nature is actually very important. To demonstrate that, let me show you this gyroscope. I'm going to try and spin it all up and we'll see how this works when we apply a torque to it. Okay, so let me hold it and I'll get it spun up. Now if I turn it on my finger, it does this. And that's called precession. What's going on here? Well, as it spins, say, in this direction, that's going to give you an angular momentum pointing out here. So I'm balancing it here, and the angular momentum is pointing out there. There's then going to be a torque. Let me measure the torque around the hinge. The weight is trying to push this downwards. So there's going to be a torque trying to rotate in this way, i.e. the torque is going to be a vector pointing that way, but the angular momentum itself is pointing this way. So what you're going to get is angular momentum here, add to it the torque in this direction times time. So you take this vector, add something in that direction, that's going to move the vector around like this. So in general, when you have something spinning, like a gyroscope, and you have angular momentum and the torque, that will cause it to rotate. If it isn't spinning, it will just fall straight down. Because it's spinning, it would actually move round and round like this. And that's called precession. And that's an enormously important factor. Um, it's used in gyro compasses to produce navigation. Um, for example, in the First World War, the uh, gyroscopes like this were used to allow battleship guns to, to attack targets at great distances. They were used in both world wars to control sub, um, torpedoes to allow them to travel straight. They are used to measure the rotation of your phone. There are little tiny gyroscopes inside it. Uh, it causes the Earth's pole to rotate. So you've got the Earth, which is spinning, and it's a torque applied to it by the gravity of the Moon. And that causes the Earth's north pole to rotate and moves the star signs around. It's uh, used for magnetic resonance imaging when a strong magnetic field is applied to the atoms in your body, which are rotating, and causes them to process, and that gives you CAT scans. So, really important.